A growing number of children and young people are being placed in alternative provision. This provision may or may not be registered and is often attended by some of our most vulnerable pupils. So you'll not be surprised to know that schools' use of alternative provision is something we explore during inspections. When the lead inspector calls you, they will ask if your school uses alternative providers. If you do, we will ask you the name and address of each one, the URN if it is registered, the number of pupils attending and for how long. It's also helpful to know the age of pupils and whether they are children looked after or have an EHCP. During the inspection, inspectors will be keen to explore what the intent is behind the use of AP, the purpose of the particular provision and the impact it is having. It is probable that we want to speak to the alternative provider and may well even arrange to visit it. In addition to the quality of education, of central importance to us is the safety and well-being of pupils. Inspectors will want to be satisfied that school leaders have assured themselves that the AP safeguarding arrangements are robust, whether or not the provision is registered. As one of Her Majesty's inspectors, some of the best practice I have seen has been where there is a clear reason for the use of alternative provision, providing an opportunity that the school could not offer alone. Usually, this is linked to a clear and suitable long-term goal or aspiration. Strong links between the school and AP are vital. Where I have seen the most rigorous checks of safeguarding arrangements by school leaders, this has led to leaders of alternative provision, which doesn't meet the threshold for registration, improving their policies, procedures and practice for the benefit of every child and young person that walks through their door.